Today, my mom and I are going to show you how to make Cafe Rio sweet pork burritos. They're kind of time consuming, but they're really worth it in the end. And they're so pretty good. easy to make, but they're so, so good. So it's worth all the time it takes. It kind of is in three steps. You're going to make the sweet pork, and then you're going to make some lime cilantro rice, and then some cilantro ranch. So we're gonna get started. All right, thank you. Okay, this is for the dry rub. First, you're going to need four cloves of garlic, or if you want to buy the chopped garlic that comes in the jar, like this one, um, my mom just uses a couple little teaspoons. Next, add some ground coriander, two teaspoons. Next, we're going to add two teaspoons of ground cumin. Next, add one teaspoon of onion powder a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper, a half teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, once you have all of your ingredients in the bowl, just mix them together. You're going to want to find a pork roast with the least amount of fat. Put the rub on one side, and once it's fully covered, flip it over and put it on the other side. Okay, once you have your roast covered with the rub, just put it into your crock pot. And add any of the rub that fell off, just right on top. And then pour one cup of beef broth around the roast so that it can cook in that. Put the lid on, and then we're going to cook that on high for four hours. Okay, so I just got back to my mom's. We put the roast in, the pork roast, and let it cook for four hours, maybe four and a half hours because I fell asleep, maybe. Okay, so we're just going to grab the roast and put it on a plate. And you need to get any of the extra fat off. And I know that that kind of looks gross, but I just wanted to show you how it just kind of pulls right off and you're gonna wanna just throw that away. That's no good. And then just start shredding it. And you just pull it apart with two forks. That's how we do it. There is extra broth left in the crock pot, as you can see. We're going to leave that in there, but I'm taking this strainer thing and I'm getting out any of the extra like chunky things in there. We're going to add the shredded pork back into the crock pot and make another sauce. What you're going to need for the sauce is one cup of Coke, one 16 ounce bottle of salsa. It's an interesting combination. But it tastes so it good. Does. And then we need two cups of brown sugar. And then just mix that up good. And you need to be careful when you're putting it in there so it doesn't splash up. That broth is hot. And then just pour that sauce right on top of the shredded pork. And we're gonna put the lid on, and how long are we gonna cook that for? Two more hours. Okay. On low. Two hours on low. While the pork roast is cooking for the last two hours, we're going to make some really yummy lime rice. And we're going to show you how to do that in a minute. And also some yummy, is it cilantro ranch? Yeah. Dressing to go on top of it. So you can make these into burritos or salads and we'll show you both ways. But we're going to start making the rice right now. Before we start the rice, we're going to preheat the oven to? 375. 375. Okay, so this is what you're going to need for the rice. We're going to need one tablespoon of olive oil, one clove of minced garlic, and like I mentioned before, we're using this little bottle that is already chopped up because it's a little easier. One onion diced, one cup of rice, two cups of chicken broth, a half teaspoon of salt, juice from one lime, zest from one lime, and two tablespoons of cilantro. Okay, so we're going to start by adding olive oil, and we're going to saute the onions. The onions. Yeah, you're gonna saute the onions till they're clear, till they kind of get clear in color. That okay. means they're done. And then once they're done, you add the rice. Something my mom mentioned is that it's better to use the Uncle Ben's rice rather than Minute Maid because we're going to be baking the rice. So you want to make sure to get the Uncle Ben. And while they are sauteing, we're going to get the juice out of the lime. It's not a lot. Okay, 
Okay, once your onions are ready, we're just going to add our rice. Together and let that all saute until the rice is brown. So I've just measured out two cups of broth, chicken broth. We have a half teaspoon of salt and the juice from one lime. We'll bring all of that to a boil and then we will put it in the oven. All right, our rice has come to a boil, so we're going to put the lid on and put it in the oven. Look at yours. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. I need a new oven. <laughs> okay, it's in the oven and it's going to bake on 375 for 25 to 30 minutes. I'm so excited. We're just adding the lime zest to the cilantro. I'm going to add the lime zest and the cilantro to the rice. Okay, we'll let that sit and then we will make the ranch dressing. What you're going to need for the dressing is either a pre-made bottle of ranch dressing or you can make your own by buying just a packet of buttermilk um, ranch mix and then following the directions on the back. We have the best ranch dressing here in the little town that I live in. It is amazing, so it makes the ranch dressing a little better. I wish that you could order this online. This is the ranch dressing that we're using. We also need a half a bunch of cilantro one clove of garlic, juice from one lime, and these are green tomatoes and we think they're called tomatillos. I don't they're know not how- tomatoes, they're tomatillos. Oh, they're not tomatoes? Uh-uh. These are not tomatoes, but they look like green tomatoes and they're called tomatillos or something like that. Don't make fun of me. I don't know how to say it. And then one jalapeno. So we're going to put all of that together in a blender and blend it all up. And don't laugh at my old fashioned antique blender that I got 30 years ago when I got married. It's Is that really? Win. Yeah. <laughs> I love that you like use the stuff that you have though. I do. That's I good. still use stuff from my wedding. Hey, that's awesome. By their antiques. Awesome that it's still working. Yeah, yeah. that's just really old. Just kidding. <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to peel this off, this outer casing. See that, just like that. And then you're going to cut that stem out and then cut them in half, just like that. I love doing recipes that have different vegetables and things in them. Okay, we're just going to add the ranch and you're going to need about 16 to 17 ounces. Throw it all in there. Throw it all in there. We're adding the jalapenos, but we're not adding the seeds because we don't want it to be as hot. If you want it to be a little more spicy, add the seeds too. The cilantro, juice from one lime, and the garlic. When it's done, it will be green, and we're just reusing the ranch bottle to pour it back in there so it's easier to serve. We tasted the rice after it was done cooking, and we felt like it needed a little more lime juice at the end, because we kind of felt like it tasted like it kind of cooked some of the lime juice out, so we added half of the lime juice to the rice, and it tastes perfect. Okay, so we're just going to make up some burritos, and we just cooked some on the stove, and we're going to add some of the sweet pork, I'm going to add some of the rice, it's so yummy. And then I'm going to add some cheese and a little lettuce. And then we're going to add some of our ranch, the cilantro ranch, just a little bit. And then I'm going to roll that up. Just like that. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of the ranch on top. And then they always do this at Cafe Rio. <laughs> Perfect. Top it off with some of the sweet pork. And that is your burrito. Like I said, you could add whatever else you want inside. And now we're going to make a little salad. So we're just gonna start with some lettuce. We're going to add our sweet pork, the rice. We're just going to add the cilantro ranch. Okay, and then you can also top that with whatever you want if you want to add sour cream. Tomatoes are really good to put on there. So whatever else you want on your salad would be great. Okay, you guys, that is it. We have our Cafe Rio sweet pork salad and our Cafe Rio sweet pork burrito. Thank you so much for helping us. Thank you. This is fun. I love cooking with my mom, and I know you guys love seeing her and her delicious recipes. So we have a few more recipes coming your way this summer, so watch for them. 
I'm gonna be cooking the whole time we're in Utah. We hope that you love these as much as we do. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See ya.